Hi everyone, my name is Cassandra and this is my CT280 Pop Culture and Meaning essay proposal. My essay will be discussing the negative psychological effects of violent video games in today's youth. I think this is a really appropriate and important topic for this class because we focus a great deal on video games. I thought it would be interesting to take a psychological point of view on this topic and see how these video games are affecting youth, specifically their thoughts, feelings, and perhaps even actions. A few popular video games in 2016 include Call of Duty, Battlefield, and Uncharted, to name a few. All of these video games are high-intensity, violent games in which the gamers play a character and take on various tasks and duties, fighting off many enemies and protecting their territory. These games are ill-equipped with violence, graphics, and much destructive behavior. Within my essay, I will be arguing that video games are powerful and persuasive tools that can negatively impact youth in a technological society, and that over time, youth who play video games can adapt and be influenced with aggressive cognition, violent behaviors, and a desensitization to the real violence in the world around them. I will be defending my argument with a variety of scholarly articles and journals. So my first argument was violent behavior. And I explored this topic through a famous study by Bandura called the Bobo Doll Experiment. Um, this experiment measured children's violent behavior after watching adults engage in aggressive behavior towards a doll. This sparked a theory called the social learning theory that suggests that people learn by observing, imitating, and modeling. This supports this because video games are exactly that. Video game violence has been noted the new kid on the media block. Current video games have become an integral part of youth's leisure time, and it was actually researched that it is the number one thing youth are doing other than sleeping. There are explicit presentations of violence throughout these video games, and it is noted in various articles that studies have proven an increase in hurtful behavior and a decrease in helpful behavior in children who play video games. My second point was aggressive cognition, and studies show that changes in terms of psychological, physiological, and cognitive behaviors have become a produce of video games. It has shown a long-term effect of higher drug use in teens that play video games, as well as poorer relationships with friends and family. An article states that it can be reflected in the brain as a blunted evaluative categorization of violent stimuli, as well as an increase in hostility and a decrease in empathy. Character-based video games do more than allow one to practice various kinds of behaviors in a virtual environment. They allow one to practice being a different kind of person, and as such, we propose that games can alter self-perceptions of personal characteristics, attitudes, and values with broad consequences of behavior. So in short, this article is defending that there is a very various studies that show that there is a shift in attitude and behavior um, when children are playing these violent video games. So my third point focused on the desensitization to the real life violence around them when they are playing video games. So research showed that the extent of violence in today's video games suggest um, a desensitization and reaction to real life violence. Studies showed that the playing of these violent video games decrease pro-social behavior and empathy in youth today. It is proven that we become less aroused to real life violence because we are ill-consumed by the violence of these video games. We are not phased, so to speak, by real life violence anymore after playing these games for a duration of time. Recent studies have also suggested that avid video game players enjoy the art of killing and find pleasure in it. There was a recent laboratory experiment with 42 men. They each played 20 minutes of either a high or low violence version of a first-person shooter game. The results showed that there was many different effects um, of this game violence, but specifically we, I focused on the high violence categories, and it showed that they're, the ones that played the high violence games showed a significantly significantly weaker reaction to aversive stimuli and reactive significantly more strongly to aggressive cues. So now I'm just going to briefly talk about my three sources. Um, these are three scholarly articles that I found on the internet and the first one is called The Psychological Effects of Video Games on Young People and it's a review by Lavinia McLean and Mark Griffiths and basically this article goes in depth and studies a longitudinal study of children that have played video games for every day for a number of years 
and there's a concern that the effects of video game playing are larger than the effects observed with television and film viewing, and that children and young people may be at a greater risk of negative effects as a consequence of exposure to violent video games. They explore the impacts of these video games and how this impact can occur specifically in development of aggression and a lack of empathy in children who play these violent video games. My next article is called Violent Video Game Effects on Aggression, Empathy, and Prosocial Behavior in Eastern and Western Countries. And it's a medica sorry, a meta-analytical review by Craig Anderson and Brad Bushman. And basically, this article goes in-depth to test the effects of violent video games on aggressive behavior, aggressive cognition, aggressive effect, psychological arousal, empathy, and desensitization in a technological society. And this article is unique because it cross-cultures and compares these video game players in different countries. And it summarizes that the evidence strongly suggests that exposure to violent video games is a causal risk factor for increased aggressive behavior and cognition. And it revealed significant research design on these impacts, and I will be exploring that a little bit more in my essay. And the last and final article that I chose was called Hostile and Hardened, and it's an experimental study on desensitization to violence and suffering through playing video game video games, sorry. This study tests whether playing violent video games leads to desensitization and increased cardiovascular responding. In a laboratory of experiment, which I won't get too into right now, um, they studied children and youth that play violent video games that are high in violence and low in violence and how they react um, to aggressive stimuli after playing these. So basically, my article will be exploring these impacts of violent video games, and it takes on a very psychological point of view, and I think it will be really interesting to explore these effects, and I hope that you enjoy it. Stay tuned for my essay. Thanks for listening.